War Darth Mod USA campaign and this my friends we left it last time and once again my friends we are another huge battle here with the Germans but this time the difference is we are not on the defensive here we are on the offensive you know the Germans are coming out to attack us we are on the offensive we have managed to bring finally some offensive operations against the Germans to the fold here and as you can see we do have Gdansk within our sights we could possibly unify the entirety of Prussia in this one year right now my friends it really is on the brink of doing so and as you can see we've brought the absolute pinnacle the apogee here of the fighting forces we have available to us as you can see we bring the marine expeditionary force which of course we always use as the tip of the spear the battering ram here to absolutely smash in here these german forces as they have done wherever they've gone in this campaign the, the marines have always done their duty and they've always given them the sound thrashing but also, my friends, we've brought in two exceptional other armies. We've got an army group here, but we've also got more than just that. We've brought almost a full battle group with us here. Because as you can see, we've got these three gentlemen here. These three armies here are indeed dr you know, being dragged into this fight of Gdansk because the Germans have come out to try and lift the siege. But in reserve, we have these two very powerful armies here. And they haven't been brought into the fight at all. Now, that is absolutely key, because as many of you said, Mala, if you can take, can take Gdansk with these um, these forces we've got here, this, this army group we've got here, then those other two armies, if they're not needed to sort of really subdue Gdansk, then we could possibly use them to even strike out against Berlin. That, my friends, would be a wonderful plan. And again, it's because of your advice, your suggestions that have brought this about. And of course, remember, we're still clearing Denmark of sort of any residue there of any German troops. And we had a terrific battle last, or a series of battles last, last episode because we had to try and clear Denmark specifically near the coast there of Denmark we had to clear all of that we're trying to move those troops up bit by bit roll up all the sort of last remnants there of the German forces in Denmark and bring our troops onto the border there of Hanover and f just almost a stone's throw away from Berlin it really is that close if we can break this garrison here if we can break this defensive force here because in total they have got probably equivalent number of troops but not all their troops are in good in good health here they're not in the best of condition as you can see <coughs> excuse me my friends as you can see the army here that is defending as Simon Reisner here has actually taken quite a beating here because of the siege here we have sieged them out of course they have got no no food in they've got no munitions in they've got no heavy guns in here the army that is coming out to sort of lift this siege has been under siege for well over a year now and it really has brought down the garrison here to quite low levels. Now, they still outnumber us here. It's not being under illusions here, they do outnumber us, but they're using a lot of conscripts here to hold the city in place, as it were. They do have hussars, and they do have Bosniaks here, the lancers. We have to be very careful of the lancers. Remember, we don't, the marine expeditionaries are purely infantry and artillery force. It has no cavalry except for the general here. Not one. Remember, we've got General Sam Allen here in charge ably assisted here by General S4 and indeed General Cade Mendoza. So we have to make sure my friends that we are absolutely sealed off here. The defensive display here has to be exemplary and of course I'm going to use your advice with cannon. Try and use sort of the single shot fire here to bring some more veterancy to our to our artillery units and also to sort of really get their experience up and then we can switch to that sort of quick line which is absolutely devastating really as you can see we've come with a good set of artillery here some really nice batteries here of artillery but let us not underestimate the Germans here to, to do so would spell our doom as you can see here they've got a huge amount of artillery at their disposal an absolute colossal amount here in this second army here bringing in they've got a good amount of cavalry as well which we have to be very be beware of especially the heavy cavalry here and of course they've got some militia, some line infantry, and of course dragoons, and then they've got again in this one a tremendous amount here of uh, of artillery, which is almost overwhelmingly in their favour here, the artillery. And again, they've got a, a sort of a, a mixture of between line, they've got some superior here, and they've also got a lot of cavalry as well. They've got musketeers, of course, yes. And then in this army here, which has absolutely been thrashed through the inch of its life, this army here, look at it, there's virtually nothing. This army, some of these armies are actually the resident, the, so the remains, I beg your pardons, of the battle with, for Warsaw. 
So some of these armies have actually withdrawn this way up into the north, into Gdansk, from the Battle of Warsaw. Remember how brutal that battle was? Well, this army is the remnants of one of the armies that took part in that battle in Warsaw. And indeed, they've just got one or two sort of units here that have just sort of been placed in here, ready probably to be moved into another army. But we've caught them now on the hop here. Now, again, we've got these two armies here as a backup, as a reserve. If things don't go to quite according to plan, we will probably lose... I'm, you know, I'm predicting potentially quite heavy casualties here, not because of poor fighting on our on our part, because of the sheer magnitude here of their artillery. We have nothing to counter that at all. We've got no mobility in here at all. And indeed, I think the only army that's got any mobility of any sort here is this army here from Cape Mendoza. That's why we're probably going to put General Mendoza's army in just first year. Just because of these one regiment here, this could actually prove pivotal to us. But again, we've got a tremendous amount here of artillery bring, being brought in. But to be honest with you, we probably need line infantry in here before the artillery. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring in all of this line infantry here. We're going to really have to be absolutely on top form here. And I think we shall do the same. Oh wait, I beg your pardon, we do have actually have a regiment here. So I think what we might do then, I think we'll leave things as well, because line infantry is, is gone, but we want to keep this army here if we can of General S4 in reserve here. It is a very, very elite army indeed. Look at that. It's the Republican Guard Army. We, it, it was recruited and brought together a long time ago, but it has fought vigorously, as you can tell here, by the veterancy on these, these units here. It really has performed remarkably well. Gentlemen, if you would, please. Thank you. And these provincial scouts as well are wonderful unit to have here, which we'll bring in probably there as well. Actually, let's try and bring on all of the Republican Guard at the same time here. Just to give us that extra oomph, that extra bit of panache. Wonderful, look at that. What an absolute joy to see that is. It really is a wonder to have these. Remember, we've taken, it's taken us a long time to be able to uh, sort of start our own off offensive operations here. We've had to really juggle our forces around in Sweden and in Denmark, because remember Sweden here is providing a lot of the troops that are actually fighting in Warsaw and indeed gu guarding sort of East Prussia because we've had to drain troops away from East Prussia to sort of bolster the defences around Warsaw and also try and hold these, for d d these sort of forces in position as well. But we are now on the brink of potentially uniting, but look at this French sort of force here a massive amount of French troops here it does give us a little bit of cause for concern, but let's not just worry about that just yet. Let's focus on one thing at a time. Now, I know that many of you have also asked for an army to be named after you, and so we've got a lot of new generals to be. I will definitely do that, my friends, but I like to do that once we don't have we have an episode where there is no battle to start with. So as soon as we get an episode where there's no battle to start with, that is, my friends, when we shall I shall be na renaming those regiments in your honour, of course. Right, let's begin, my friends. The Battle of Kadansk. What a fight it's going to be. What a fight. We have to absolutely be on our toes here defensively. It is going to be huge. A huge, huge battle. Remember, they will be bringing in uni um, reinforcements in instantaneously into the battle. We have to be prepared here for all eventualities. We're going to split our, our artillery uh, regiments into two separate groupings, two separate batteries here. One so sort of we're going to sort of angle them so they can cover both all angles. So we've just got to make sure we've got every single angle covered on the battlefield. And of course we are going to probably box ourselves in. Which means we're going to cover every side until we know where the enemy is coming from. Because remember the Germans can come in from any side. We might prepare, we might prepare for one side and we'll find they'll actually appear on another side. And they'll catch us absolutely on the hop there. We must be meticulous here in offensive planning. It is the only way to victory here. We have the forces. We have the will, we have the discipline, we have the generals, we have the courage. We just have to be ultra prepared here. And we can and we will win this battle. But it's going to be difficult. Be under no illusions. That's because we've got the sort of Marine Expeditionary Force. We've got a you know, really high elite army group. But that doesn't mean we won't lose potentially a lot of men. I'm hoping we're not. Hope our defences will prevail. But be prepared for that casualty list. It might be slightly high. But that does not mean we take a step back, my friends. Not a chance. Onwards and upwards. 
the battle of Gdansk, which we've been building towards for a long time. No longer are we on the on the offense of defensive like we were in Warsaw. Now we take the defensive, and indeed, look at this: the sun will be in the eyes here of the Germans. As you can see, the shadows being cast here. So they should be. The sun is actually over on there. So it's dusk. It's the sun is going down here. So look at our deployment zone here. How the deployment gods given us anything? We've got this here as sort of a, as a protective sort of screen here, <coughs> with them the Germans being able to probably move through this gap here potentially. We've got not the largest in terms of length, but width-wise, that is a huge deployment zone. We're going to make the most of this. We're going to use this here to protect and cover our left flank. There's a gap here which they might exploit. We have to be careful where those German forces might be coming in from. Look at the guns we've got available here, my friends. It's a wonderful sight, it really is. Right, let's pull them back here. We're going to use this mound here as our forward headquarters here to set up this, this battle here. Right, we're going to put our guns hither. Oh, what a wonderful sight here. And of course, we can use the earthworks the defences here, but we're not going to use it for the guns. We're going to keep them on round shot to start with. I think what we will do is we'll just keep those three, and we'll just take them out, put them in their own separate position. Let's unlimber. And unlimber. Thank you, sir. Now, I think what we will do is we'll just slightly angle these. Angle them just slightly, just to cover all the bases here. Now, these as well, not too violently here. We don't want the angle to be too much. Let's just give them a little bit of space between them here. They are looking a little bit close together here. We just need that angle. Oh, what a wonderful sight there! Look at that. Now, the reason is that so we can cover you know the angles here. As you can see, that's quite an acute angle here. But this one, this regiment here, we just need oh, look at that there, G gentlemen. That's more like it. That is a wonderful sight there. Right. Now, we've got the second New York in the original Patriots here. I think I should put these gentlemen right in the vanguard of the defence here. On the hill, we've got the high ground here. Let's make the most of it. Now, as you can see, we're quite away from the artillery. Now, we are going to... Now, they do have cavalry, so we're going to actually... But they'll probably hit the extremities first. flanks. We've got Continental. I think we'll go with... I think we'll go for full US Marine contingent here to guard and defend. We've got this mound here, so be careful of that. We're going to use it to our advantage. Oh, look at that. Green Mountain Boys. Oh, what a wonderful sight. Look at that. US Marines are their absolute finest here. We've got to be... This mound here will sort of interrupt here, but we're going to have to go around it here. Eagle of the Star Spangled Bar Flag. Again, we could do that there, but it's going to disrupt. We're going to lose some firepower here. Which is a bit of a shame, but still, we'll come on this side of it. We don't want to extend out too far. We mustn't become detached. for Jameson's Irish Brigade here. Again, still using this hill here, this slope. Let's try and get them a little bit closer together here. That's all fantastic to see. Zeno's Battalion, I think we'll... Now this is where the main sort of problem comes in here. We've got this here. And we could set it, our troops back a little bit further, possibly. I really want to drag them into these into these fights here as best we can. We want we want them to be dragged into this to these hill. Actually, we'll put that in there. We'll actually put that there with anti horse spikes continental. We've got any others there? Zenos. We've got James Irish. I think then we'll switch to Congress. We'll go Continental Marines. 
Mid game, we're just gonna make sure we're covered here. We can remember adjust these as we see fit. What we might do actually is put we've got more Morgan's Marine. We might try we just might just seal off this gap here. I know it's looking a little bit sort of spread out here. We're gonna try and pull some reserves out of this as well. We'll use the 99th Regiment here. We're not gonna abandon this flank completely. But we are also going to remember we've got to keep ourselves absolutely here with some reserves. Here. Let's bring General Allen up to the f to the fore here. Now, to make sure we got all the flanks covered here. We've got some pretty powerful reserves here. I think what we will do is we'll put these Washington's Pride right on the flank here. Remember, we're going to be hit from multiple sides here. We can adjust. We can adjust depending on what happens here. We're actually going to put two regiments here of Legion of the United States. Here, remember, these are... I'm going to fire it. Well, we've got two regiments here as well. These, remember, we can use these to adapt to the situation at hand here. I'll fire at will, but again, we've got a good complement of troops here. We've got a good defensive perimeter set up. Actually, what we will do, I think, is just adjust this perimeter here thus. Just to make sure. And actually, I wonder if we put a third light foot into here as well. Just got a feeling that one of these flanks is going to be attacked instantaneously right off the bat here. As you can see, we've got this semicircle here. We could seal off this front here, but again, we've got this protecting us here. I've just got that feeling in my bones here. We might be under a pressure immediately, but we can deal with it. We have the reserves, and we have some strong allies behind us here. All right, let's begin this fight, my friends. The Battle of Gdansk begins. Now then, that is a pretty formidable... Here they come. I'm going to pull the general back in reserve here. shot still they're not in within range we want to gain that that experience faster reloading we've just got to keep our eyes peeled here for any troops coming in here we haven't really accounted for oh look at that what a what a wonderful sight here some casualties as we predicted. just killed a huge amount of our own men here. My god, look at that. We wiped out a whole a massive amount of our own men there.
running. They're running. Run, you cowards. They're going to try and flank us here. hit from behind now. Coming in from.
Here they come, secondary force. He's going to collapse here. Very tough fight here, you can tell immediately. Thank goodness we've got Republican Guard coming in here. from behind us here, my god, we're going to be absolutely crushed here. They're going to overrun us here, we've got reserves coming in, my god, the Marines have been absolutely smashed to pieces here. Yes, done. charge oh we're gonna be absolutely overrun here absolutely overrun right, let's get ourselves we need to get a secondary position set up here this is not going to be easy at all here for us your lads. Can we speak? Can we? me we've been absolutely pounded to pieces here but right, we've got to try and get around now two of these absolutely pull back got 
to get around to the, the to that artery over there. We have to do this, gentlemen. Please move. We have taken an absolute pounding here because of the cavalry they've got here. We've got to hold, gentlemen, please. Goodness, we've got these reserve armies. Holy smokes! Because that marine force got absolutely obliterated. I mean, it really did get a real pasting there. Oh, gentlemen, this is not a Sunday strong move. Got a huge amount of forces moving around here. Massive. I'm going to get somebody here, but I'm not sure who. Mm. Oh, oh, wonderful psyche. We're going to go and take the fight to them. We are not going to sit on our laurels here. This artillery here. 
because they're going to pound us back into the Stone Age otherwise. Gentlemen, look sharp here. We're going to go and take the fight to them here. Absolutely chewed to pieces here. I mean, their artillery, their accuracy in their artillery is quite breathtaking, it really is.
Come on. Keep going. Gotta get rid of that artillery. If we can get rid of that artillery. Is here. Oh, they've run. They've run. Oh, they did a wonderful job there. Well done, man. Well done. We've rolled up their entire artillery here. What a wonderful sight that was. Here they come now, they're really miffed with us now. Oh wait. Where the blazes are they going? Right, let's get them in the vanguard here. here. Anti-cav! Move it. Gentlemen, those are back here, please, sir.
Try and move around, take care of this artillery, which is absolutely being an absolute menace to us, sir. Just what we need to trap the shot here, sir. Switch your path. What a fight, what a fight. We have may have taken and lost a huge map of Oh my Gordon Bennett. We may have lost a good chunk of our Marines here, but if I my word we won't. Caught on the sp <laughs> Damn it. Blasted mortar.
one that's getting there. <laughs> Gotta keep that artillery off our backs here. Artillery. We've disrupted the only thing we've got here now is this mortars which are an absolute menace. Come on, gentlemen, hold now, hold. We've got to hold here. Throwing in the last of their reserves here. <laughs> Try and get rid of ourselves of these fiends here. My word, what a fight this has been! Always welcome. Always welcome, sir. Yes, at last they've broken. Those four inch mortars are an absolute menace. Menaces, it really is. We're going to go take them out. We're going to go and take them out here with this force here. Be the kind of 
Russian infantry coming in here. to us here, these mortars. We've got nothing to fight with. Gentlemen at bay for a while here. Right. Let's put these into another group. Let's get ourselves organized here. Okay, we've lost lost the gentleman here, but by damn they've done a wonderful job here. They've cleared this flank here of water. so well this Republican Guard here. But they've got a lot coming in here. They're going to try one final push here to try and break us. Shrapnel. <laughs> 
both forces, gentlemen. here with the dead. There's nothing left here. We took a... We took, the Marine Expeditionary Force took a massive beating. But it sacrificed, paved the way for this victory here. We've absolutely smashed the German forces here. The last recognisable regiment here could bring all firepower to bear. I'll run, you could Run! Generals, enemy generals here. We knew this fight wouldn't be easy, but my word has been far tougher than I expected. This has been fanatical resistance here from the Germans. Fanatical resistance. Yet still they come here with dragoons. I mean, where are they? around. Prepare ourselves here. We can guard. Stand tall, lad. Stand tall. If we had cavalry, now we would be moving around here. Harassing. Oh, that's more like it. Here they come. As was predicted, here they come. Oh, he's back over there.
Tremendous odds. Here they come. Got nothing left, they got no more troops left. They absolutely soaked in everything they can here. We knew this wouldn't be easy, but by damn. I knew the casualties might be high for this, but this is extraordinarily high here. Right, read Bring everything to bear here. Everything, gentlemen. Then we're going to strike out and clear up all of his artillery. Take revenge, gentlemen. Time to take revenge. artillery here.
get him out, lads. So to get this artillery out, we're going to destroy everything we've got here. What a fight this has been, what a fight, we've almost done it, we've almost done it gentlemen. Places that they're getting these extra troops from. Yes, we did it. We did it, my friends. Holy smokes, what a fight that was. What a fight. That was absolutely insane. The Marine Expeditionary Force got an absolute beating. Let's not let's be absolutely honest here, they got an absolute thrashing, but my word, we still held there. With the Republican Guard coming to the fore, we must crack open now, West Prussia. We have to take it. We've committed far too much now to this. Good grief. We lost 3,000. Look at that. I lost 7,000. Let's have a look at statistics. Look at that. US Marines, 314. Look at that. Second New York, 240. What a fight that was. What an absolute fight that was. They've been absolutely smashed to smithereens here. The other regiments and uh, armies. Thankfully, we've got an army here still in... Situ here, General Mendoza's army. What a fight that was! Again, we have that glitch there, my friends. I'm, a Waiting for your orders. More orders. I'm afraid they're, they're moving out. Pull out, lads. We can, we can do this. We can do this. We can take. We can finally, finally take West Prussia. <sighs> what a fight! I do apologise for the glitch here, my friends. Whenever we seem to go in for a defensive battle, this glitch seems to happen here, but... Wow, that was just absolutely incredible. Hang on, where are you going exactly, sir? <sighs> the Germans did not want to give... Excuse any noise in the background, my friends. You probably th know who that is. What a fight that was. The Germans did not want to give up that out without a fight there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Straight 
straight away. They're trying to move in immediately. Look, like they went. They got seven thousand men here, already in reserve here. We could take this fight here next time around, but really, we ideally we like to get this army involved if possible. Mind you, a lot of these armies are still recovering here, recuperating. We won't take that fight just yet. Nope, still not within our favour yet. Let them move in a little bit closer. They're obviously going to try and attack Warsaw once again here. That's more like it, sir. Not still not at the peak here. They do have quite a lot of damage here. But these here are indeed still pretty formidable armies here. But we've got enough troops here to deal with this. We've managed to bring in quite a lot here of reserves and refor re reinforcements here. Looks like we're going to have another Battle of Warsaw here. We need to draw in as many of these armies as we can here to really start hammering away here at the, at the Germans here. They, they just won't give up here at all, will they? Unless we can drag this army separate from these, I wonder. Let's just let them try moving a bit closer. Ah, that's more like it. That's more like it. We've got 13,000 men here now available. Some of these armies are still recovering, still trying to recuperate from that battle of Warsaw. They just won't give up here at all. Look at all that cavalry they've got. That is just absolutely ridiculous. Looks like we're going to have to set ourselves up pretty well here. We've got two regiments here, luckily. Plenty of cannon. Lots of regiments here, of course, but that's the regiment we want here. This is the army's going to come in in because we've got a lot of cavalry to be able to, you know, sort of strike back at them here. We should be able to deal with this, these armies here. What it is, is these armies here are coming into the fight, the ones that are coming from Russia. Then we've got to try and recuperate these armies as fast as possible here. We might be able to remove these armies here, destroy these, because they've cut the road here from Warsaw to, to, to Konigsberg. We need to take Gdansk next, e next episode. We probably will do that, but I'm going to end this episode here, my friends. What a fight it has been. What a fight. Gdansk has absolutely tested us to the absolute maximum here. And it proves the Germans are not going to give up their territory without a brutal fight. The resistance there was absolutely fierce. I mean, it was fanatical resistance. It really was. We've lost pretty much all of the Marine Expeditionary Force. We're going to have to rebuild it from scratch again, almost. Replenish it. Bring in the rest of the Marines here from the homeland and try and replenish it as best we can. But my word, what a fight that was! It was absolutely stupendous. But we we prevailed. We've absolutely smashed in them. Gdansk is effectively broken. All we need to do now is kick in the door, and we will be taking Gdansk, unifying Prussia, bringing that Baltic sort of coastline pretty much under our control. We're then going to clear Denmark. We're going to destroy this army that's dared to come in behind us here from the Soviet Russian holdings here. And then, my friends, we're going to move into Russia itself. We're going to strike back against those German enclaves in Russia, and we're going to remove them for us. But my word, what a fight we've got coming up next episode, my friends. It's going to be huge. And we are going to bring in this army in first next episode. So actually, we'll probably do that right now to make sure we don't forget to do that. And we've got quite a powerful force here. Remember, look at it. Oh, that's actually that's a quite a nice force there. We've got to remember most of these armies still haven't replenished, as you can see here, from the battle, the previous battle of Warsaw. We've managed to bring in quite a number of brand new regiments here, recruited them, but still they are looking a little bit depleted. Like down to 15 men there. That's how fierce the battles have been here. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, my friends, please keep your comments coming down below. It's been absolutely fantastic. They really have. And I promise you, those of you who haven't had your armies renamed af named after you, I promise you they will be renamed. So as soon as we get a an episode without a fight, without a battle at the start of it, I will make sure that it is done. But I hope you enjoyed. hope you're having a good weekend, my friends. Whatever you're doing, please be careful. hope you're having a great time. But until next time, my friends, bye for now.